they will be creating a simple YouTube avatar using Cinema 4D and Photoshop. I'm gonna try to speed this up, so here we go. All right, first thing you wanna do is obviously open Cinema 4D. You wanna create a plane, drag up the width, drag up the height, select the rotator, hold shift, and drag it to 90 degrees. And then, sorry about that. And then you want to kind of rotate your screen, get a better look at it. And you want to go to MoGraph, MoText. And you want to click the middle mouse button to go into your four views. And you want to kind of move this out above the plane. And then click the middle mouse button again to zoom in. And then you want to control C, V. Control C, V, again, just to copy it. And then based on how many, like, not letters, but the start of your name, like say your name is um, Chrome Designs, shout out, you would put C, D, obviously. So I have exceeded the limit, so I want to put E, T, L. So first thing I'm going to put is an E. I'm gonna change the font to Batman Forever. It's my, it's one of my favorites. It looks pretty nice. I'll put the link in the description. You wanna to go to your second one? Change that. To whatever your second letter is, not second, but you know what I mean. And one more time for the L. Oops. L. Okay, so. You want to rearrange your letters. All right. You want to rearrange your letters, how your name goes. So mine starts with an E, so I'm going to put E for exceed. Put a T right here, and you know, like kind of just drag it where you think it would look good. I'm kind of speeding, so it might not look as good as my first one did, if that even looked good to you. <laughs> Kind of drag it up like that. And this is looking not here. It's see that. See, pretty basic. You know, just for tutorial sake. And then you want to go to File, Shader, Oops, Shader, New Key. Double click that. Go to Diffuse. Make sure it's the color you want. In my case, I want kind of a blue drag that up there and drag this here and for my middle letter I kinda wanna um a black look to it. The reason why you pick Nuki instead of just a regular um color scheme is because Nuki just makes it look shinier and overall it just looks a little better. Let's drag that out a little bit. Alright so now let's take a look at it. See it's kinda shiny you know this is very basic, so might not look as good as it, my other ones. But, yeah. Alright, so I'm basically done here. You want to go to your render settings. Make sure your output. What I like to do is 400 by 400. You don't have to do that, absolutely. But it's great for YouTube. Go to save. Make sure you have it either on TIFF, PSD, layers. Or if that doesn't work, I usually save mine as a JPEG. Go to options, make sure it's 100%. There you go. You can save it to my pictures. And then save. And then you want to render. Render it out. Save as. Yep, yep. Okay. And right where you just... Just save it over that. Okay. Oh, this tutorial is getting a little long. Alright, so you want to close this out. Go into your Photoshop. Go to file, new. Make sure it's the same size as the other one. Okay. And then you go to open. And then just open the one you just saved. Right there. And now you want to cut out the side. So you select this magic tool. And then you just 
click the outside. Wait, oops. Double click this first. Okay, just to make it editable. And edit tillable. Oh, sorry. And then you click the outside, delete. Have your tolerance on 20. It works the best for me. Well, that's just for me, but yeah. Okay, so there you go. It's not looking too great. Just got Russian, but yeah. And then you want to drag this out. Drag this in here. Like so. Then you want to kind of rotate this. Control T. And rotate it like that. All right. And double click here. Oh, sorry. First, gotta click somewhere else. All right. Double click here. Go into what I had out inner glow. Yeah, that's what I had. Whatever color you want. In my case, it's blue. I'm trying to make that go up. Size up a little bit. All right, and then you want to go to your first layer. You want to click, yeah, double click here, gradient overlay, and you want to click, um, check reverse, and then go to radial, and then, yeah, wait, what's going on? Mm. Yeah, all right there, and then. I'm going to change the colors a little bit from like a grayish, darker gray on the outside. Okay. Oh, man, this tutorial is getting a little too long. Alright, like so. And then what you want to do is, oops, add your optical flare. So I'll create a new Go to file, open. I'll put the link in the description for these optical flares by Chrome Designs. Thank you. Alright, it's a nice looking one. I'm gonna drag your flare in here. Okay. And then you wanna set this instead of normal to screen. And then drag that behind this layer. So there you go. Gonna rotate this. Why is there? So yeah, that's basically it. It's not the best I rushed and not the overall best looking design, but you know I was just something simple so hope you liked it. As usual, um, message me any tutorial ideas, rate, and bye.